and welcome to a video. Um, so today, today I'm going to start a little series basically looking at Minecraft Switch Edition, at Minecraft uh, um, on you know Pocket Edition, which you know, uh, this is all the versions of Bedrock, uh, not the console versions, because um, consoles are no longer you know being made. I might uh, I have been meaning to do a stream where I go back to Minecraft Switch Edition, but anyway, that's for another time and uh, Minecraft on Windows. I will not be de dedicating an entire video solely to Minecraft on PlayStation 4 or 5 or on Xbox One or Xbox Series X because um, though I'm just going to talk about them right now real quick. Uh, Minecraft on you know PlayStation and the Xbox are perfectly fine versions of the game. If you don't have a PC and you don't uh, like what you hear in this video about the Switch edition or, or yeah, about the Switch or, or, or mobile phone or you just don't have those two then my, Minecraft and those two versions are fine they're just fine there's nothing special about them they, they're just fine um, I want to talk about these three because e you know each one of these have s something I can talk about um, and of course I'm going to start with the Switch Minecraft uh, Bedrock on Switch because look at my channel name that's why um, so Minecraft on Switch has some ups and downs it is portable so there is a ups uh, and uh, I believe in my opinion this is the best portable version um, oh my skin is back that's nice um, and if you uh, edit your character um, I believe that yeah on, on Minecraft Switch Edition you do have the Mario mashup pack uh, which is a texture pack and some skins so you have Mario you have Mario from Super Mario Sunshine you have Luigi and then you have Luigi with the poltergeist from Luigi's Mansion then you have Princess Peach, Yoshi, Bowser yeah, the shell could have been better. Um, Toad, Captain Toad, DK, Diddy, you know, Daisy, Wario, Wow, Luigi. Uh, you have PT Piranha. You have all of the Cooper kids. I cannot remember their names. You have Rosalina. You have a Toadette. You have Beto for some reason. You have Dr. Mario, you have uh, Kamek, you have Koopa Trooper, you have Shy Guy, you have uh, Hammer Bro, you have, I can't remember his name, you have Cat Mario, you have uh, a Dry Bones, you have uh, Bowser Jr., you have Fire Mario, you have Tanuki Mario, you have uh, um, Blue Shell Mario, you have uh, Propeller Hat Mario, you have uh, Cat Mario, Cat Peach. Hold on. Is one of those not cats? Oh, one of them might be, I think that one might be like the golden tanuki. Uh, you have Cat Peach, and that's all of them. Um, now this would be good for like doing some like role play and stuff, and, there's, and I don't know this, but there probably is um, a uh, Minecraft, um, realm that's solely dedicated to mario rp on the, the switch but the problem is um you can't use these skins or the texture pack uh what if you're playing on, with someone who's not on a switch so and i think that's honestly the biggest uh, drawback to to this is like if you could use these skins and the texture pack while playing with like a friend on xbox or your, their phone or their uh, computer then I feel like uh, you know this would be just a slam dunk for the switch but as it, it on like I get why they wouldn't want someone on PC Xbox or PlayStation or on the mobile phone being able to use these skins or texture pack uh, but I don't see I don't get why they won't let the switch users use them uh, while playing with their friends and I believe I think if Nintendo let Microsoft 
Minecraft and Minecraft do that, then I believe that would that probably make more people want to play the Switch version. Because it's like, oh, you get exclusive skins that you can use in multiplayer um, and the texture pack. But sadly, no. Um, but let's get into the actual gameplay of Minecraft on Switch Edition. So I've uh, I played a good bit on uh, this world uh, um, on the Switch. Um, I was playing these when um, back when my internet was out. Um, yeah, I got some old worlds in here. I think that was uh, that was actually only ever used in one video like ages ago, and then. Uh, never go. But um, for all of these platforms, uh, I'm going to be focusing on realms, and then I'll show off a little of um, little just like gameplay or just like in one of my worlds. But yeah, uh, let's go into the Bedrock Craft realm um, and show off how the Switch performs on a realm. Now, the reason why I'm showing off realms mainly is because um, the realms are probably the way to go. Oh, and I do need to download the texture packs and everything. Um, because when you play Minecraft, because um, they carry over from multiple devices, so um, I think that's what most people who play Switch is going to do. They're probably going to play Switch, like use use the Switch version of Minecraft Bedrock to play on the go while uh, that while but while they're at home, they're playing on their PC. Um, so I think uh, that's a good thing. But yeah, we're in um, the realm, and it is actually doing quite well. Like none of this is really resource intensive, um, but you can um, see that you know if you're uh, on the go and uh, you know. Uh, using this to play on the realm is not a bad idea. The only problem is that the Switch doesn't have, uh, uh, unlike a mobile phone, the Switch doesn't have uh, the ability to just like have its own like 4, 5G or whatever. So uh, you will either have to like turn your phone into a router or just like um, play it at a friend's house or something. But I do think um, that, you know, just the fact that you can just like take your Switch to a friend's house and if you want to play local multiplayer or play on a realm but you just don't want to you actually want to have some like human contact and you don't want to just um talk through discord and you actually want you know want to like want to hang out and just like eat some um you know uh crisps and uh, uh drink some uh energy drinks or whatever and pull uh, and pull an all night and you know just have some good old-fashioned fun and I on and then you know Minecraft, Minecraft on Switch is really good for that. Um, you can also turn your phone into a router if you want to. Um, I don't know why I'm holding my. Oh, I know. I remember why I was just doing this there. Um, but if you just want to. Um, oh, it is a bit laggy uh, still. Uh, and I've. I, um, anyway. Uh, I do believe this is uh, uh, not a bad version at all. Um, and bear in mind, I do have good internet, so if your internet's not too great, that will impact your game uh, performance. But because most of the processing uh, um, is handled by uh, Microsoft servers, playing on the Realm is not really uh, bad. Uh, um, a bad idea for Minecraft Switch Edition, um, and if it's the only edition that like, you don't have a good PC or you don't like the mobile version, playing on mobile phone, um, and you but you have a Switch and it's like okay, I'll, you know, yeah, I would definitely yeah, recommend yeah recommend this because it is honestly for the most part when you're playing on a realm, is not a bad. The experience. Now, something I do want to go into now is a lot of the time here I have been emphasizing this is a realm. When you actually get into native gameplay, that's actually a good bit different to and, uh, and I'm going to go into that now. Realms aren't perfect, like, it is possible to have a 
bad experience when playing on the realm like i even me with good internet has had in the past but i don't i don't i'll talk more about that in it in the next video um so let's just go into one of my old uh well yeah update and play why not um uh poop this is taking a bit longer than i thought here we go i think it's done now just yep building terrain yeah another thing here is loading times are a bit bad on microsoft edition like i think they might have done a bit of op optimization on this game before um since the last time i played it to now because honestly be when last time i played this it would take forever to just load into the like main title of the game uh, also if you want to know why my house is in this this house is in this such a state it's because two lightning uh, bolts struck the house and then it burned down the reason i know it was two because my two cats like so yeah you can tell there's a good bit of lag here not on the lag, but noticeable lag. Um, ignore the cows. Um, now, the most when, when lag is the most noticeable is when I turn this on. Oh, I know that's the wrong lever. That actually makes it work. <laughs> Uh, it's been a while since I've been in this world, but I think it's up here. I can knock. Oh, wait, yeah, there. The, this lever, do it. You can notice how laggy it really is when you're just like moving some blocks around. Like. And it, this, it's not like this world is that. You know, it's not like I've done a ton in this world. Like the most I've really like the most laggy thing here are those cows and even then when I was there, I wasn't even looking at the cows. And also something that's quite bad with the, the Switch edition is the render distance. Like you can see that the render distance is quite bad. Like we're getting it's a bit laggy and we've only got this much render distance. I believe I've actually uh what is the render distance? Uh also, I've changed my skin to the pumpkin guy by mistake, but never mind. Oh, it, look how the game literally just freezes going into the settings. I think it's actually just crashed just by me going into the settings. Oh, no, there we go. Alright, so... Um, yeah, no, render distance is only six chunks. It's at the second least that it can be, and it's still quite laggy. Like, that's minimum re render distance, 10 fancy graphics off, beautiful skies off, fancy leaves off. And. Right, this is a minimum render distance, and this is actually quite bad um, when you're not um, on the realm. So if we start this going again, yeah, see, that really does not help much. So. Anyway, um, so if you, so let's, again, let's go back to, let's go back to the realm. Also, I'm going to change my skin real quick. Well, uh, once this is finished loading, of course. I'm gonna change it to the Rudolph, Rudolph skin.
So let, let's go into my own realm that I just like, uh, that I just am playing like mostly single player. Uh, I've had some people like come in and have a look around, um, but not done really much multiplayer on this. Um, Alright, we're just going here. Put a little bit of lag when the world loads in. As you can see, it is performing much better. Uh, we are not having any real problems. Yeah, like the pistons, a little bit like with the pistons. As you can see, we're not really getting any major lag here, and I've got a good few. I've done a good few, good, good bit of stuff here. Like we've got a bunch of villages here. I've got a bunch of villages over here. I've got some guys up there that spawn nine golems. And if we go over here, I've got like a bunch of chickens and cows and sheep. And the game and some horses and the game is holding up perfectly fine. Uh here, so yeah, and now we can probably just like go into settings. And even there, opening the settings while there was a while it did it did freeze for a little bit. It didn't freeze nearly as long as um it did uh, uh, in the main world. Now we can just like turn fancy leaves. Beautiful skies and smooth lighting back on, and just like fancy graphics. Can probably bump the render distance, and the render distance only goes up to 12 chunks. Even though 12 chunks is recommended, it was still super laggy in the single player world. But now, yeah, but I wouldn't say buttery smooth, but it is. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a good bit of red. Hmm. The pistol. Redstone does not seem to want to work. Okay, we are getting a good bit of lag here, so if we're going to want to lower the render distance down a bit. Let's... Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Uh, there we go. Nope. Mm -hmm. There we go. So let's turn it down to like eight chunks. Still not super great, but yeah. Hmm. Don't know why. Like, seriously, the switch should not be struggling this much on a realm. Like this thing can run fucking massive open world games. Natively, like Legends of the Breath of the Wild, and there's like day, I think it was like Days Gone or whatever it was, and I think like there was like a recent like open world game, and I think like uh, World War Z came to Switch recently, I think. Anyway, basically, the Switch has run far more intensive games than Minecraft natively, and yet, even with a realm, it does struggle a bit. Like, for the most part, it's not too bad, but. Um, does tend to struggle. Now, if we go down to seven chunks, yeah, it should not be this bad. Oh, I've gone past it. Oh, wait. 
You don't mean to do that. Oh, no. Mm. Done six chunks. How is it still lagging? This much. It wasn't lagging this much before. Oh, I'm dying. Why am I dying? The fuck is going on? This should not be this bad. Seriously. So yeah, I, even though it's still on the well, like look at this. Like, do I, uh, let's try saving and quitting, and then going back in. See if that fixes whatever was going on. But it, the Minecraft Switch Edition should not be this bad. It's not like Minecraft Switch Edition is a niche. A uh, version of Minecraft Bedrock that sells only a few hun hundred to like a couple thousand copies. No, it is uh, um, Microsoft's first game to reach over one million sales in Japan. And yet they can't, they, they just don't bother dedicating any resources uh, to uh, um, improving the experience. Like Minecraft on Switch should not be running this badly like there is literally no excuse for minecraft on switch running this badly like, yeah, I was being attacked by an invisible zombie because the game files all the way over here like the minecraft on switch edition should not be running this badly at all ever no matter what i'm gonna try open the render distance distance a little bit because i think the game just Glitch then oh there you go game freeze for a second. Yeah, if Minecraft switch if Minecraft can run decently on a mobile phone, then why can it not run just as good on a switch? Right, up it to eight chunks. Yeah, and eight chunks not great, but not bad. Yeah. It runs on eight chunks fairly well. It's just like this. This shouldn't be a. This shouldn't be an issue at all. At all on Switch, like I was saying. So, is Minecraft on Switch a bad version of the game? Depends. Are you going to be playing on Realms? If not, then yes. I would not. If you're not going to be playing Minecraft on the, on a the Realm, then I would. De I would definitely not recommend that playing it on Switch. But if you are going to play it on a realm, then it's definitely not a bad option. But uh, there is one more reason why you would buy uh, Minecraft uh, on uh, Bedrock on Switch. And uh, uh, it's actually a fairly decent reason, but uh, I'm going to get into that right now. And uh, oh, let me just keep my boot. Oh. If I could open my inventory, there we go. Excuse me. There I get my boat, and then just boat all the way down here. Now, uh, oh, need to be laggy, but this is my raid farm. Um, apparently, these, oh, the, it's a bit laggy. Um, you know, it's rage time, I don't have to really explain why is this not working. Seriously, Minecraft should not be struggling this much on the switch.
Like at all. Ever. Like this isn't even the Switch's fault. Like it's not like the Switch is so underpowered that it can't uh, effectively run Minecraft because it's run much more intensive games than Minecraft natively. Like, it's fucking Witcher is on. Oh, I didn't even mean to join that realm. Um, Minecraft wi uh, Witcher is on the Nintendo Switch. Like, Minecraft is nowhere near as intensive as Witcher. And anybody who um, says otherwise is an idiot. Like, there's also, like, Doom. 20, there's, like, the 2016 Doom, and then there's Doom Eternal. That's on the Switch. That one at 30 FPS, and they were much more intensive than Minecraft. So, if those games can run at a decent frame rate uh, natively on the Switch, why can't Minecraft? Well, no, it's not why can't Minecraft. It's like why won't they make Minecraft run? Because it's there's no reason for Minecraft to not be running at 60 FPS with a decent render distance on Switch. Like, the render distance on in the Switch version is lower. The max render distance on Switch version is lower than the max render distance in the Minecraft Pocket Edition. That, that should not be a thing. And Mojang really needs to get their shit together and fix this. And the software even like just quest logging into the realm. This should not be as bad as it is. Like it can honestly work well sometimes, but it just does not work or work when it's the way it should. Like it should not be this bad. There is literally no excuse. Mojang are just crapping their pants when it comes to this. It's just like, hmm, should we uh, update the uh, on Minecraft on Switch so it doesn't run like an absolute pile of shit? After sell sell selling over one million copies, which not the PS, which the PS4 version hasn't managed to do, the Xbox version hasn't managed to do, and the Wii U version hasn't managed to do. And is Microsoft's first game to sell over 1 million copies in Japan. Nah. There's no reason to update Minecraft on Switch. Like, come on. Like, why do they just stubbornly refuse, refuse to like, do anything about the awful state Minecraft on Switch edition is in. Minecraft Bedrock on Switch. Like, come on. Like, the game, this is on a, bear in mind, this crashed. Logging into a realm. Like, there is no excuse for this. But anyway, like I was saying, the best use for Minecraft on Switch Edition is the fact that you can go AFK quite easily. Um, ignore that command block as you can see the design. Let me just Right, so, um, are they even going to spawn down there? Don't tell me this got broken in the updates. Anyway, um, oh, I think it got broken in the updates. Oh, that's, oh, no, there we go, it's working. Just took a minute. Um, so, uh, the main, the best use for mine, play, having Minecraft on Switch, in my opinion, is for going AFK because, there's a couple of problems with going AFK on PC and um, mobile phones that um, uh, 
And again, you could do this in like PS4 and Xbox One, but they're a bit more energy intensive. Um, is that on the, on PC, um, you tend to get disconnected from realms if you're going AFK on the realm. So, um, you know, having the because uh, when you tab out, it, you just get randomly disconnected sometimes. Um, and it's a bit annoying. Like I've uh, I've had it happen to me like while I was setting up streams. So uh, if you want to go uh, AFK for an extended period of time, Minecraft on Switch w is the best edition for that. Because like I said, uh, said um, Windows version just tends to get you disconnected from realms, um, and you don't want to be leaving your computer on all uh, night. Uh, um to get some stuff to get some resources because it uh, you know a decent computer is going to use up a lot of power uh where the switch what um is underpowered but because of that uh, you know it's n the switch isn't that powerful because it's basically just like um a tablet um power wise um it does um use a lot less power uh, it a lot less electricity, so uh, it's quite good uh, for saving electricity when you just like go in AFK overnight, just like put your character here and then just leave them to go AFK. Um, and the but it's like, oh, mobile phones that use even if I use my phone, I would use my power, but it's like, yeah, but do you want to leave your phone, um, you know, at AFK at you know, my. AFKing overnight, uh, when you might need it to call somebody or to message somebody or whatever, text somebody or whatever. Like, you know, you've got you're gonna want to use your phone, so you you don't really need to use your Switch for te texting or anything. So you know, obviously you're not gonna be able to play any other games on your Switch, but you know, if you're just gonna be like watching movies or whatever, then you can just like leave uh, leave the Switch AFK, um. And just like get tons of resources. So I should really be holding my looting stores, but anyway. Um, and honestly, I think this is the best um, use for Minecraft on Switch Edition and the best way to go AFK uh, in Minecraft. Just get your Switch and then just plot, you know, plop your character where you want them to go AFK, get your Switch, and the. the And then, um, yeah, just leave them to go AFK, and you get come back in the morning, and you've got a um, ton of resources. It's like you can use this to farm wherever you want. You want to send put them AFK at your gas farm to get tons of gunpowder. Yeah, you can do that. You want to have them. Um, you, know, you want to get tons of you know, like bones and rotten flesh and the, the string from your mob farm then just set you know set them okay you know um and because you're not characters not going to be moving around a lot and not really like doing anything too intensive um the switch will be able to handle it quite easily um but yeah like i said the switch should not be as poorly optimized the switch is Minecraft on switch should not be as poorly optimized as optimized as it is and I definitely say Mojang should do something about it. Um, but unfortunately, they're probably not going to because is because even though Minecraft is a very uh, on Switch is a very uh, popular version of the game, they're probably just gonna just leave it. Unfortunately, which I think is a shame because this honestly, if this wasn't as poorly optimized, I would say you know if this could run well with a decent render distance. Uh, then I would definitely say this would be the best version of Minecraft, and um, unless and it, uh, it would be it would easily beat out Minecraft on PlayStation, Xbox, and the uh, uh, mobile phones. But as it is right now, I would not really recommend it as a main way your main way of playing Minecraft. Like having it as you know a way to AFK for to gather resources, not a bad idea. Um, or just having it as a side um, platform 
uh, for when you when you're out and about and or just like going to a friend's house and then you play on it there. Yeah, that's also not a bad idea, but having it as something you uh, play uh, on for the long term is, you know, you, you know, just like playing on it. God damn it, weird size. Um, you know, just doing anything remotely resource intensive is not gonna really turn out too well. Um, and honestly, it should just not be this way. There's no reason for it. And yeah, like I said, Mojang just needs to get this shit together and to sort this version out, seriously. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, and I think that's pretty much everything there is to talk about this version of Minecraft. Um, if you have any, uh, uh, if you have anything to add about Minecraft, that I, uh, about this version of Minecraft that I agree with, or if I think of anything, I'll uh, pin those comments in the comments section. Um, and if you uh, wanted to join uh, the Truly Bedrock Realm, which I showed off my like, little base area earlier on, uh, the, uh, there's two Discord links down in the description. The first Discord link is to the channel Discord, which I notify everybody when uh, I'm going live or when I upload a video on the very rare occasion because I don't often do videos anymore. Uh, it's just usually usually for shorter um, content like this I do videos for. Um, and the, uh, the second Discord link in the description is uh, for the realm, it's the realm Discord where you can find the rules and all that and you can join that and you can join the Discord and join the realm. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy uh, this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Um, I, you, I mostly do um, live streams like Minecraft or whatever I feel like uh, live streaming on that day. Um, also, I got out of bed and I'm inside a grindstone. Did not know that could happen. Um, it, damn it. There we are. Um, so yeah, and the, the, if you so if you think that if I can if like Minecraft that sort of stuff it uh, content it. Uh, Intro is uh, interesting to you, then I, you know, don't just like, you know, what, you know what to do. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in, uh, you know, whatever I decide to do next. Honestly, uh, probably going to be a live stream or something, but, you know, might not want to do a live stream. Anyway, see you in whatever I do, decide to do next. Bye-bye. Uh,